In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply Boolean search operators in Sales Navigator. So we've had a lot of questions about using Sales Navigator to get better results and people saying that they're using LinkedIn and they like using LinkedIn to find people, but the results are so bad. So how do you get a better search list out of Sales Navigator? This will give you some tools to really, really quickly find things that you would not otherwise be able to find or exclude using Sales Navigator. So here's the process. I've got my search applied here as best I can using their titles. Now, I've also gone with my headcount, the sector, and I've excluded Canada and Germany because I'm going to use this data for cold email. Those are two companies that require double opt-ins for cold email, so it's just not an option in those countries. Once I've done that, I now have a list of 7,000 people, but there are a couple of companies that I want to exclude and a couple of titles. So how do I do that? So there's a couple of ways to do that, but I'm going to start by just pulling up my notes list here. And we want to start by excluding anybody involved with SAP or Salesforce. So and again, this is a real use case given to me by a client. So we're going to take SAP out of the equation. And it's really this easy. All you do is put a minus symbol before the word and enter it like this. So let's hit enter. Let's see what happens to our total search result. We're now at 6,500 approximately. So that was good. We didn't see the titles in the list when we scrolled through. And again, I made this list earlier, so I know I didn't see them, but this in fact says, hey, people involved with SAP are on this list. The next one they gave us was Salesforce. So let's do this. Minus Salesforce. Boom, we're down to 4,500. So we've removed you know, roughly 1,500 names out of the list already. And again, when we scrolled, we didn't see SAP or Salesforce popping up. So they're in the list but they're hidden in there and they're not coming up at the front. So this is a good way to apply those filters of saying, Hey, I know this is going to come up. I know consultants are going to appear on my list. I know that people from sales are going to appear on my list. I don't want to talk to people in sales, for example, then you can minus out those keywords in addition to excluding their titles. Um, so let's jump back to my list of exclusions here. Now we also don't want anybody from operations or sales enablement. So, We've already excluded sales enablement specialist and you can toggle these on and off. Some people haven't been aware of this feature. You can hover over it and just click this block button. So you can enter a title and then block it. But again, it's not perfect. So that's why I like to come up here and go minus. And then we said the exact phrase we're looking for is sales enablement. So right now it showed zero results because we have minus to everything according to Boolean. So minus now this is where it gets tricky we have to use quotes it's not tricky but there's a trick to doing it you need to use quotes sales enablement i'll show you why let's apply that search last time we were at 4500 now we're at 4000 we removed another 500 but what happens if we take the quotes off of this let's see let's see if it does anything different here same result, 4,000. So in this case, it didn't make much of a difference. But in some cases, what can happen is it will then search for enablement as a keyword and just subtract sales. So anybody involved with something related to enablement would appear on this list. So that is how to use a phrase keyword using quotation marks and minus signs. Happy to do additional videos for anybody that has any other questions on Sales Navigator. Thanks, guys.